Hey, good morning, guys. This is Reggie Piggies, prosperingdad.com, and we're continuing our series today, the You Are Worthy series. And as always, to start it off as a YouTube video, now we're over here on Facebook. So as you jump on, just type into the comments where you're coming from, so I know where um, you're watching me from, and I can shout you out this morning. Good morning, James Anderson. How you doing? Thank you for joining. And just type in the comments. Let me know where you're from. Like and share the uh, like and share this video um, because someone's going to need this word today. As you can see in the title, we're going to talk about how to have peace of mind. How to have peace of mind. Now, in this series, we've already been discussing the importance of our, um, of mindset of the things that we think about, which manifests into the things that we say, which manifests also into our actions but oftentimes we do not know or haven't been taught how to have peace of mind and this is extremely important that we learn this particular skill particularly going into a new year having peace of mind is so very important to our overall well-being and our health that it, it just takes priority in our lives but it's a skill that we need to know learn and develop so you say Reggie how do I have peace of mind well have you ever been in a situation where um, just there's just almost like complete chaos all around you there, there's everything that could happen is happening but somewhere in the middle of it you find calmness you find a way to manage you find a, a, a space of clarity and then you have, are endowed with answers to, to relate to whatever the issue may be or the crisis or the circumstance that you might find yourself in. That's peace of mind. Some people find it in meditation. Good morning, James. Oh, North Carolina. I have family from North Carolina. That's a wonderful, James. Good to see you. Um, you know, some people find peace of mind in meditation. Some people find peace of mind in reading the Bible. Some people find peace of mind in just being in a quiet place. But whatever that is, you need to develop that. Because when you uh, go inward and you find, hey, Derek Germany, good to see you. Um, when you find peace of mind and you can go inside, that connects you to infinite intelligence or what people would say a godlike state okay that connects you to, to infinite wisdom and understanding and that's so important yes james some people find peace of mind in music yes absolutely but it's so important for us because we live in such a chaotic world and we live in, in such a chaotic time it's very tantamount that we understand how to develop peace of mind now in most cases as like James pointed out with music or reading the Bible, a, a thing that I found that's very instrumental is we have to learn to be still. Now people say, you know, may ask, they ask me, they're like, Reggie, what do you mean by being still? Oftentimes we're so on the go, we're always on the move, we're always doing this, and we're always doing that, we're so active, we're so hyperactive that we've forgotten the ability to just be still. Just relax and just be still you know let everything else melt away it's not going to go away you know so but if you can find the time to just be still just learn to be still and listen to that 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 voice on the inside to give direction to give clarity to give you um you know the ability to problem solve or to think through to, to touch to tap and touch base with your subconscious mind which is where all our answers come from you know we have to just be still you have to go someplace even you know if it's like in the bathroom or just go into your bedroom and close the door wherever you can find go out to the park and just sit find a place that's quiet that you can sit and just be still and listen to that inner god voice inside for direction and clarity and the last thing, you know, we want to understand is that in the midst of our storms, in the midst of all our storms, no matter what there is, there's peace. But you have to seek it. You have to put yourself in a position to find it 
And once you find it, you have to open yourself up to receive it. So even regardless of what you may be going through, whatever health issues you might be going through, financial issues that you might be going through, um, relationship problems, problems on the job, whatever it may be, you can find peace in the midst of that storm, but you have to seek it. If you allow the chaos to direct your, your, your vision and your motion and where you're going each and every day, it's going to take a toll on you. It's going to be dragging on you. It's going to be something that's going to negatively impact you. So as we, we, we enter the final days of this year, we want to be clear that we want to find that inner peace and you can do it. No matter where you are, no matter what you're going through, you can find inner peace. You got to learn to be still. Learn to be still. Generally, for me, the best time, and statistically and psychologically, it's been proven that the first 20 minutes of the day when you first wake up is the most receptive time for your brain to process information. So generally in the morning when you get up, take that first 20 minutes, try to get up before the alarm, take 20 minutes to yourself and just be grateful, be thankful, you know, make some decisions, um, possibly, you know, you know, start your day off with affirmations and just get your mind and your body right and just be still and just absorb the energy and just open up your mind. Hey, William Sneed, good to see you. Good to see you, brother. Um, you know, that first 20 minutes of the day is very, very important. That's, that's when you're, you're most receptive and you want to open up your mind and your heart and your spirit to receive what God has for you for the day. All right. And um, lastly, just know in the midst of your storm, there is peace. You can find peace in the midst of your storm. No matter what's going on, how chaotic it is, if you seek God, God will find, he will come to you, he will answer your prayers, and you can find peace in the midst of your storm. So, as always, this started off as a YouTube video. You can go over to my, my video channel over there on YouTube, Hollis205, and check out the other videos and content that I have over there. Hit the notification button here so you know when I come on. Like and share this video with your friends because somebody needs this word today. And most importantly, as always, I want you to know you are worthy. You are worthy to have the life that you want. You're worthy to have the things that you want. But you have to start by taking 100% responsibility for self. Make sure that you're controlling that inner, that negative inner voice in your mind. Changing the dialogue in, inside, internally, so you have and achieve the outcomes that you desire and deserve for your life. And most importantly, go out and serve. Make sure that you're serving people because the more that you give away, the more you get to keep. All right? On that note, I want you guys to have a fabulous Tuesday. As always, may God continue to bless you, and I will talk to you tomorrow.